think uh, HIV AIDS in Kenya, I would describe it as a, a very horrible situation. I would boldly say that almost now each and every family has got a person who is affected with HIV. I would say the, the government is trying, but there is a great problem with the issue of HIV being related with the things are, that are not talked about so much, that is the, the sexual issues, because it is kind of a, a taboo to, to speak about sex. And so none, not in one person who would really want to be associated with such a disease. And so, especially in the church, it is every time a person is thought to have the disease, you are somehow put aside and, and stigmatized. Even though you won't be told, you will so by signs. You know there are this communication by signs, where you see people are looking at you with suspicious eyes. It's congregation members, the clergy members, the bishops. It is a, a situation where it's everyone. It's like every, everyone does not know what to do and what to say. And what amuses me is like clergy, because I've been a clergy now for nine years. We have studied about HIV. We, we have the information. But you will still find that they, they are still resistant to speaking about it all, to stopping discriminating people who are positive. I think mostly why people fear to be tested is because they don't want to be stigmatized. Because being tested and you become positive means being hated. Even the bishop, since I told him that I am HIV positive, he has never spoken to me. You see, he's kept it silence. You know, I was thinking he would call me and ask me, how is it? How are you feeling? How are you doing? I was expecting that, but I've, I've never had it from him. And so I don't know what he's planning. So if I would be sure that if I say I am positive, I'm, I'm not chased, chased from the church, I think I would be comfortable. But if I would say I'm positive, and then the bishop comes and say, out. I think we will destroy the congregation members because we will put them in the confusion that we are in of not understanding God as a caring God. So I was thinking at this pleasant time, I'll keep it mum in the churches until I am in a position where I can talk about it and nobody will tell me, come out. Or, or move out because you are positive. I've come to realize that the, the issue of, of HIV, it's not a moral issue, it is a medical issue and it should be treated as a disease. And so if faith leaders would strongly hold together, hearts together and say that, let us understand HIV not as a sinful, not as a punishment from God, but as a problem and we try to fight it, I think we can, we can make it.